the back-to-back -back champs. You could make a case that one of their most critical contributors has been Braden Point. Had the cup clinching goal for the first crown. And over the course of the two straight titles, 28 goals. Let me rattle off the names of all the Lightning players with more goals during the two years. No one. <laughs> Braden Point is spectacular. I love when he does that. So <laughs> Lightning fans, brace yourselves. Eight-year deal, 9.5 per year AAV. Julien Brisebois, I think, made a lot of people happy today, Panger. I don't think there's any doubt about that. And if he would have said it was $10.5 million, I wouldn't have blinked an eye. That's just me. This is a, you know, when you look at Braden Point and, and his development in, in the Western Hockey League, he went from 57 points to 88 points. From the NHL, he went from 40 points to 92 points. There's been a couple of little injuries along the way and a shortened season and COVID that's hit. Uh, but uh, he, he is just growing. Every, not growing tall. Not tall. Not a, not a big guy. There's anything plays wrong big, with that. Plays heavy. Plays deep. Plays both ends of the ice. Makes plays. Makes his wingers look good. Is a shooter. Is a dancer. Is a passer. Yeah. Love the, I just absolutely love Braden Point. When I'm turning on the TV and I'm watching Tampa Bay, I'm watching number 21 play all day long. I've heard you say he's your favorite guy to watch. Absolutely. Yeah. No question. Marvelous hockey player. Checks all the boxes just in terms of his skill set. To me, as important in all that, it's the way he process, yeah. processes the game, the way he thinks the game. He really is remarkable. I would think, make this point, and this is no knock on Nikita Kucherov because he is a world-class talent, but Kucherov is not the player that he is without... Uh, point riding shotgun from one night to the next. They, they are incredibly uh, great cohesion together, great chemistry together. And Point, again, is one of those guys that just drives tempo, makes the smart play, keeps plays alive. Size is never a problem. He's sturdy for a guy of his stature. Great stature, edge work. Really sturdy yeah. for a guy of his stature. So the future looks awfully bright. That, to me... You know, certainly at that position, maybe across the entire roster, even including goaltending, that might be the most important man to button down in my estimation. In my estimation, should have been the Conn Smythe winner going back to the first cup two years ago. Not the first cup, but the, yeah. the first cup on this back-to-back -back set. Was my, was my pick for the Conn Smythe. Braden Point, by the time you get to the playoffs, the pre-scout, so comprehensive. Yet somehow this year during the run to the cup, he strung together a nine game goal streak. There's only ever yeah. been one goal streak longer Stu Grimson? in the playoffs. Uh, Stu, Stu, Reggie he, Leach. Forgive Close. Him. Oh, it's Reggie Leach of the Flyers, Flyers, the right handed him. sniper. Forgive uh, him. He doesn't follow the game that closely. <laughs> yeah. These guys have been going at it all day. It's so entertaining. <laughs> Not entertaining for Bolts fans how they've had to say goodbye to some key players during this championship era. Let's start with that third line. Goodbye to all of you. Sad to see Superman leave Metropolis. Blake Coleman landing in Calgary. You also see David Savard, who had the pass that led to the goal that won that second cup. Colton scoring it. The names there, all of us watched. We heard those names again and again. Well, losing them, Panger. Well, I mean, you've got Yanni Gordon, Tyler Johnson. There's your $10 million. You know, you've, you, you knew that you likely weren't going to get married to a five- or six-year deal to either Goudreau um, in that deal or Coleman. Mm -hmm. And they ended up going out there. And because of their success and because uh, when Julian traded for them, I mean, look, they're riding, they're riding shotgun now. I mean, they came over as two guys that not sure where their careers were really going. I mean, good players, but now they've brought themselves to a level and got paid handsomely for it because they won two Stanley Cups, and they were very valuable, and this was a terrific line, and John Cooper trusted them like crazy. And this little fella's got an engine that doesn't stop Yanni Gord. Um, but when you think of that, okay, so Yanni Gord wasn't even a drafted player. He was, a, he was signed as a free agent. They signed him to a deal worth about, what, 5.3? It was a pretty hefty deal at the time for... For Yanni yeah. Gord, um, but they still kept Palat, they still kept Kalorn, they still have uh, uh, Sorelli, they still have jo uh, Joseph. <laughs> you know, they they yeah. they kept a lot of players intact here. This is still a very deep franchise that I think will be able to succumb the losses of, of what they have there. Yeah, it'll, it's it's an interesting challenge, though. I don't think you take four pieces, four plus pieces like that, out of the mix and not see a, a difference and not go out of your way to to try to replicate that. Because let, let's remember how this group, this organization, you know 
absent how they got to a place where they're drafting the points and the Kucherovs of this world. It was the pieces that they added that ultimately kind of put them over the edge, the depth pieces that they added. And John Cooper will be the, the first to tell you that. We, they went about it in a slightly, uh, a somewhat unconventional manner. It's not so much the top-end guys that they craved. Uh, they needed to add some grit. They had to go out and find some glue guys, some, some depth of the roster guys, before they were ultimately able to get, get over that last obstacle so I think they need to address that I think they you know the muscle memory is there you, you've got a you've you, those guys are critical to club success ultimately and um, it'll be an interesting challenge to see how Brisebois Cooper and the rest of the operation staff can try to replicate uh, that part of the roster because I, I think it's it may not be the only thing panger but it's uh They've got to. They've got to come somewhere close to, to, well, to Belmar, duplicating Belmar what was there fill, before. Fill a good void. Yeah. I, I mean, we. I, I love the way he plays, especially and in I'm the playoffs. He's a very disciplined player. He's a good forechecker. He's a good yeah. penalty killer, and he's a good faceoff guy. Yeah, and I'm with you too. Y young Joseph could step up into a role Absolutely. where he's kind of down the middle. He's able to be, uh, you and know, Colton. to be that Colton. Yep. Exactly right. Absolutely. According to the media vote, the most valuable player throughout the entire playoffs, the Conn Smythe winner Andre Vasilevsky needed a backup. Brian Elliott, the answer. If only, Panger, we had someone on this desk who knew Brian Elliott's game inside and out. Oh, wait. <laughs> Former Blue, you know what he brings. He's, Is he a fit? He's, he, I know he's very excited about joining joining the Tampa Bay Lightning. Brian Elliott's a fit anywhere he goes. He, he just is. I mean, he, he's just a quality person. Uh, players, they, they really adore him. They, they really do. It's because of how hard he works. It's, it's because of his personality. It's because of what he puts for, first, and that's the team. And I think behind a team like, like Tampa Bay, we've seen that with Curtis McElhaney. We've seen that with uh, any goaltender that has stepped in there, that y you know, you've got your number one guy, and he's going to play this amount of games, and he just needs some support, and he needs a really good teammate. So I, I, this, is a, this is a quality addition. It's a small addition. We all know that. And it's, yeah. But it's a, it's a really, really good addition. I can just tell you firsthand, and I'm sure Carter Hart would tell you firsthand, that uh, he'll miss Brian Elliott. And he gets Martin Jones there in Philadelphia, uh, and Brian Elliott... You know, real quiet, real professional, and real support guy. Even the best goalie in the world, according to all the experts I'm around at this desk, needs to take a night off. Brian Elliott will take those nights for the Bolts.